In Serbia, we say camion. In Spain, we say camion. <gasps> In Brazil, we say camion. <gasps> I'm surprised about Serbia. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello, I'm Lauren and I'm from the UK. Hello, I'm Draga and I'm from Serbia. Hello, I'm Anya and I'm from Poland. Hi, I'm Kaisa and I'm from Sweden. Hello, I'm Sara, I'm from Spain. Hello, I'm Anna and I'm from Brazil. All of them? <laughs> <laughs> Probably Serbian then, I guess, yeah. Out of the ones here, right? Mm -hmm. Honestly, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, Spanish is similar. Is similar yeah, guess. like here, and then the rest is like a di different. Yeah, we are here. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, the rest is different. To a certain extent, I think out of the Slavic languages, we're a little bit further apart, but still it's a Slavic language, so. I found out today that we have the same accounting system. Like, we're literally, literally the same. Mm -hmm. Portuguese is similar, like, grammar? Yeah, very similar. We have a lot of similar words, similar grammar, similar, well, sounds. Some of them are different, but we can even understand each other without necessarily speaking the other language. I don't think my language is very similar to any. <laughs> I think maybe Polish might be most different. So in the UK, we call these crisps. So it's not chips, it's not potato chips, it's crisps. In Serbia, we say chips, no potatoes, just chips. In Poland, we say chipsy, or sometimes older generations, they say chrupki. Ooh, mm -hmm. my grandma says that sometimes. <laughs> In Sweden, we say chips. In Spain, we say patatas fritas. <laughs> In Brazil, we would say batatinha. <laughs> so here it's written batata frita, but batata frita is like fried potatoes. We say salgadinho for like chips in general, and when we want to specify that it's potato chips, batatinha. Or maybe there are other ways to say it in other parts of Brazil, but at least where I'm from. Ooh, no potatoes. <laughs> well, we do, but it's just Brazilian word. <laughs> Probably, what was yours like? Ch chips. Chips. I mean, if we said chips, but we don't say chips, we say crisps, but I guess it's the most similar. Chips. Chipsa. Chips. Oh, so similar. I think the most different thing from all those words is the accent part. Like, if we try to do our words with British accent, it would be crisps, probably. Well, if we were to say, like, fried potatoes, it would be batata frita, but for chips, crisps, it's, uh, I would say, batachinha, which means small potato. <laughs> Basically, when we add inya at the end of a word to say that it's a small something, batata mm. means potato, mm. so inya, batachinha, small potato. Mm. Ooh, yeah, that's cute. So in the UK, we would say like swimming costume or like bikini or bathing suit. I think we just call it a swimming costume. In Serbia, we say kupaci kostim. In Poland, we say kostium kompjelove. In Swedish, we say badrekt. Badrekt. Okay. <laughs> okay. In Spain, we say traje de baño, bañador o bikini. So in Brazil, we say roupa de baño, but we also say bikini, mayo, sunga. Ooh. So there are four different types you define. Hopa Jibang is the general one. Right, yeah. right. Costume, right? Costume. Costume? Mm -hmm. Yeah, costume. Wow. Oh my god, yeah. who would have known? I never what heard costume. swim costume. Yeah, mm. I don't know why we call it that. Because like in the US they never adopted costume and they just say like swimsuit. But it's not a suit either. No. As, I mean, if you're I wearing know. like a full on <laughs> like... <laughs> Costume compilove when it's one piece and bikini when it's like two pieces one. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Swimming costume. Kupati costume. Costume compilove. So the verb for swimming is kupatise. Kupachi means like costume that you swim in basically. Mm -hmm. Really similar to kompache. Mm. Or like actually kompache is more when you're like taking shower. Mm. Mostly we use it and when we like swimming it's pivanya. We also say plivati, but for specifically like swimming costume, we say kupachi costume. Actually, the end of the Swedish word is also like translated to costume in Swedish. Oh. So we also say it, but it just sounds completely different. Baddräkt. So it's like swimming costume. Yeah. Banyo. Hopa de banyo, traje de banyo. Very similar. Hopa means clothes, banyo means in the shower. Mm. Like bathing. Bathing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, bathing exactly. suit or whatever. Like, traje de baño bañador is like baño. It's like swimming or like shower. I think, yeah. mm.
In the UK, we would call these the woods or the forest, but I guess the woods. In Serbian, we would say Shuma. In Poland, we would say Les. Oh, that's different. In Sweden, we would say Skok. In Spain, we say Bosque. In Brazil, we would say Floresta. Ooh, I guess forest is like bigger, Big. right? And woods are more just like smaller woodland area. Forest is like Amazon rainforest, <laughs> which we don't really have. So I, yeah, I've heard it called woods, like where I, like my hometown, there's like a huge woods called like Formby Woods. Forest. Floresta. Playful. Flower. Yeah, yeah. Like, flower. like flower. Flower, right? Yeah. Bosque. It's like kind of strong, so... Bosque. 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 <laughs> In the UK, we say trainers. In Serbia, we say patike. In Poland, we say trampki, but it's for more for like Converse style of shoes. And usually we just say bute, which is like shoes, basically. In Sweden, we would say gymnastic school. In Spain, we say zapato or bambas. Bambas is more like training shoes. In Brazil, we would say tennis for like converse or sportswear or like general shoes, it's like sapato. Ooh, which is similar to Spanish. <laughs> Tramki is kind of interesting. Sounds like, <laughs> sounds like something, <laughs> something that shouldn't be said. <laughs> yeah, tennis, like tennis shoes. Some people may also say like tennis shoes if you want to be specific about tennis shoes. So yeah. Shoes or it can also be the sport. It's the same word. Is it spelled the same? Like with the same yeah. accent? Ooh. Yeah, all the same. That's interesting. So in the UK we would call that a pot. In Serbian we can call it a sherpa or a lonac. In Poland we would call it garnek. In Sweden we would say kastrul. In Spain we say olla. In Brazil, we would say panela. Oh. Kastrul. Oh, yeah. For me, I think it sounds more German. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, like, if I hear this word, I would be like, is it like a name of the German dish? Mm. It sounds like something I can eat. Yeah, it <laughs> kind of sounds like strudel. Yes. Yeah. Like exactly. Strudel. Yeah. I think it's like because the word is kind of hard. Like, mm. it sounds very harsh. Mm. And so that makes sense. The picture that you show here, it's garnic, but it can be paternia as well. Mm. That's why I was confused a little bit. Yeah, yeah that's why like I said pan, two words. Sauce pan. We have so many different words. Mm -hmm. In the UK, we call this a lorry. That sounds like a name, a person's name. Yeah, it's my nickname, <laughs> lorry, but just spelled differently. Mm -hmm. In Serbia, we say kamion. In Poland, we call it ciężarówka. In Sweden, that is a last bit. In Spain, we say camion. <gasps> In Brazil, we say caminhão. <gasps> I'm surprised about Serbian. Yeah. That it's like this, okay, mm -hmm. but Serbian too. Camion. Camion. Caminhão. Just pronunciation, yeah. but it's probably the same word. It came from the same root. I think yours is very, very similar. Portuguese is a little bit different because we have the own at the end mm -hmm. instead of the yon. The Swedish, Swedish word is very similar to the German word because it's Lastwagen in German, mm -hmm. so it's quite yeah. similar. It was fun. It was fun. I was surprised by some similarities. I didn't think we would have. It was the coming out with the Serbian because I didn't think they would have any similar words to Portuguese. So yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. I so I brought different countries, so it was fun. Today we looked at some word differences. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye! Bye! Bye.